Hello, this is Paul Cini with Spartan Design University. In this video, we're going to explore a progressive enhancement, which is what I use for all of my real work. So let's start by taking a look at what we know already and what we're going to introduce in this lesson. If you're a page source, we have links to external style sheets, which we covered before. We have our do not lie statement, and we have our crutch for old versions of Internet Explorer. In our phone, notice that we have removed the media query. All we've done is told the H1 to be F00. And there's our H1 and F00, there's our red color. In our tablet, we have, we have added a media query. It picks up at 550. Notice there's no end. So this one goes from 550 to infinity and it has a color of 090, and that's applied to our H2, which is this one. So there's our H2 as green. And then we go to our desktop, which picks up at 1040 and goes to infinity, and it has a color applied to the H3. Now let's see what that looks like. So we're going to simulate the phone by going all the way down here. The H1 is red, but because the width is less than 550, this rule with the H2 is not applied. Once we cross that 550 line, we're now getting the phone and the tablet combined. So the H1 and the H2 rules from both style sheets are being applied to this page. If we look at our desktop, and it picks up at 1041 with the color assigned to the H3. When we continue to widen this in our simulation on the desktop, once we pass that point, this color takes over with the H3. And what we're actually seeing is the phone and the tablet and the desktop all combined together. So if we draw that out visually, we have a opening browser width of zero, which doesn't exist. The, the skinniest phone I'm aware of is about 320. All the way over here to infinity on this side. This is a continuum. We chose to break ours at 550 and 1140. So we'll put 550, you have to excuse my mouse skills. There's 550. And here over here is 1140. We're breaking it there. So the phone, if you remember, the phone has no, has no media query. So it applies to everything because there's no media query in it. And then we have our tablet. Whoops. Our tablet. There we go. Our tablet CSS picks up at 550 and goes through infinity. So it starts here and goes through infinity. And then our desktop picked up at 1140 and went to infinity. So over here in the desktop range, we have all three of these style sheets working together to build the page that we're seeing on the desktop, which is this one. Two of the style sheets are working together to create this page, and only one style sheet is being used to create the phone version. So let's go ahead and pull up our devices and see what this is, looks like. So here's our phone. And we've got the wrong page up. I've got my phone up now with the correct page. And you can see that and on the phone, these two are not being called because the width is 320, which is less than the 550 break. However, this is an iPhone 5, so the width in 
landscape mode actually is slightly higher than 550. And so this second rule here is kicking in for the tablet, even though it's not really a tablet, it's just a really wide phone. Now if we go look at our um, tablet view, the tablet is, in this case, 768, which is greater than the 550 breakpoint. I rotate it. 1024 is still less than our breakpoint of 1024, and so this one doesn't display the blue here, whereas here I get it. So that's an example of progressive enhancement where we start with one and we add or enhance for tablet and then we enhance again for desktop.